Okay, so rules to consider with multipliers is look for the language in the question, and that's why those that skim read, and I'll put my hand up as a teenage boy, I, I personally skim read. I wasn't interested in showing any detail in my reading at all, and then I'd get a lot of questions wrong in maths. Okay? So, I think a lot of my friends did the same. So, boys particularly, read the question carefully. Look for the language in the question. If it uses language like increase or greater than or more than, your multiplier has to be in the form of one point something. Or maybe it's four point something or six point something. But it's, it's saying you've got 100% plus more. Okay? Plus more than 100%. When the language is about decreasing or there's a discount or it's less than, then your multiplier will be in the form of zero point something. Okay? It's not 100%. That's why there's nothing in this column. It's not 100% at all. It's somewhat less than 100%. Then 100% as a rule, we should say, should know, looks like this. 100 divided by 100. Does it help, folks? I need your feedback that when I say what does it look like as a fraction, it looks like the number divided by... Does this help when I say this? Notice I always go to this bit. Does that help or it doesn't help? No? Not really. Doesn't make a difference? Was that the answer? Doesn't make a difference? No? Okay. So there's some rules that you need to always consider when doing multipliers. And then we're looking at some examples. Okay, in the year 2000, it was estimated there were 361 million new internet users worldwide. And in the next 10 years, that number is going to increase by 445%. So the keyword boys and girls that don't like to read too much either. The key word is increase. Straight away you should be saying to yourself, this is going to be a multiplier of at least this, or up, at least that. There's going to be something in this column. Okay? Estimate the number of internet users worldwide. So, this is your thinking, alright? This is my attempt at your brain. Wow. Your, oh, too big. Oh, too that. big. Don't be like that about yourselves. So, we are multiplying at the word increase, therefore that's got to happen, and 100% is what we have. We have 100% of the population, we're going to have 100% of 361 million, plus another 445%. All up, really, this should be 545%, which makes this 5.45. All right. Then all we do is do the multiplier, 5.45 multiplied by our original population. It gives us 1,967,450,000 internet users by 2010. All right. This thinking is the process that's very important. All right. Which I'd like you to consider. This one in 1996, the population of Tassie Devils are estimated at 130,000. However, the, the tumour disease caused a 70% decrease. Your thinking is that there's a decrease in the question, therefore your multiplier is not 1.0 and up, it's 0. maybe 999999 and down. All right, somewhere from there down because you're not increasing. You haven't got the whole 100%. The population is a 70% decrease. Therefore, your process is not 100%, but a 70% decrease. 100% take my 70%. Only 30% of my population will be left, yeah? Only 30% of that population will be left at the end. And 30% looks like 30 over 100 which is 0.3. Therefore, my 0.3 in my population times by 130,000 gives me 39,000 Tassie Devils left. Now, this is the curious one where, again, little errors will occur. Some of you will say 130,000 
times 0.7. You'll get the multiplier as 0.7. You won't do this little process here that you haven't got 100%, you've got 70% less. All right? Now, when you do that 130,000 times 0.7, what number do you get, Brooke? Get 91,000. Now, I would hope, particularly with percentages, folks, I'd hope that when you do a test or you do the upcoming directed investigation, that when you get a number, say, like 91,000, you say to yourself, Tani, that can't be right. Because it was a 70% decrease. We started with 130,000. 50% decrease on that is 65,000. It's another uh, 6,500, sorry. It's another 20% down on that. How can I be above 6, uh, 65,000 now? How can I be above that at 91,000? How can my answer be above that? And this is why when you get answers in tests, Rothy, you've got to start looking at them and saying, is this possible? Okay? Hopefully you see that that can't be possible, therefore it's this that's the problem and it's because you didn't do 100% less than 70% from the question. Alright? There's a series of questions following on from that. Or oh, practice. Those questions to start with are quite simple. If you were increasing an amount by 45%, or increasing by 6.7, etc., what would be the multiplier? All right, so some of you will find this incredibly simple. Some of you will find it incredibly challenging, and that's okay. At least you know it's good repetition. Then we go into multipliers where we decrease. What do we have to do when we decrease, Liam? What do we have to do when we decrease? I just really emphasised that before. Take the percentage off. Yeah, from? 100. Excellent. You know, in here, we're doing 100 take 10, 100 take 55, 100 take 25. That's the process we need to remember. Then, after that, there's some, um, a mixture of them, and then two worded questions. Okay? Give them a lash to see how you feel.